Rappers would begin sharing information on the K Flock case today after K Flock released this to his Instagram. If my toes off, I'ma stand on my palms. I'm a grandchild. Sharing new photos of him sitting inside a jail. K Flock's no longer only now looking at facing life in prison for the passing of Oscar Hernandez, but he is now slammed into the 40 page indictment on Rico charges alongside seven of his best friends. Now, here's what you need to know K Flock's new Rico case got the attention of rappers in the industry what's it like for you watching the the k flock thing happen that's crazy next big I, artist coming out of new I york i love flock so i like that i like that. That. that's my guy okay <laughs> but you know i'm just i'm wishing them the best right now you know what i'm saying and you know for the alleged charges they're pushing on them you know i'm saying i'm wishing his family the best i'm wishing the whole team the best and everything you know what i'm saying and i hope he beat them alleged charges you know what i'm saying because wow. he got a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of future brightness he got and i hope you know what i'm saying everything just wake all the young kids up like how fat it just right you know what i'm saying that would be, be a sad story if that's the end of the no, man, we ain't gonna think like that you, right. know what I'm saying? you gotta stay positive and we would even see k flock's best friend sharing this okay but so i saw some fans who are off at both me and academics after <laughs> k flock got locked up because at? well just because yeah. i guess like you know in our tone when we talked about it yeah. you know it might have seemed like we were being a little too presumptuous yeah. but is that weird for you because i'm sure you see people all the way from rappers to whoever acting like you know your boy is just done and the, 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 he's, he's cooked in this situation yeah. i ain't gonna lie people Especially people that don't even be knowing, like, y'all don't even know what's going on, bro. Yeah. B-Love mentions there's a lot of things that we don't even know about the K-Flock case. This was true until today. As the new court files read, on December 23rd, 2021, New York rapper K-Flock, otherwise known as Kevin Perez, was involved in a situation leading to the passing of an Uber Eats driver, as well as a hardworking man named Oscar Hernandez, as explained by his parents. On this day, Kevin Perez, aka K Flock, was seen on CCTV surveillance walking down the street in New York City. From the photos you see here, K Flock is seen dripped out in designer clothing as well as wearing a shiesty mask. As well as from these photos, you see K Flock staring into what looks like a barber shop alongside two other individuals. These two individuals K Flock is with is K Flock's sister as well as her best friend. K Flock is seen wearing the blue coat. He he was wearing the shiesty mask and it was the real question of how did this individual in the barbershop know this was k flock well while walking past the barbershop k flock is staring directly in a man inside of the barbershop named oscar hernandez notices k flock walking by oscar hernandez is then seen quickly sprinting out of the barbershop and then begins yelling at k flock he screams at flock saying hey what are you looking at with k flock now turning his body and walking towards Oscar Hernandez. The two end up getting face to face and a small argument begins brewing up between the two on the street, leaving witnesses starting to stare over at the two as well as vehicles on the street stopping from driving so they could see what's going down. This was however until Oscar Hernandez starts grabbing at his waistband, almost as if he wanted to grab for a firearm and to this day it's still unknown whether or not Oscar Hernandez was gonna pull out a firearm. But obviously with him making the motion of doing so, K Flock would then quickly pull out his firearm from out of his waistband and start using it towards Hernandez. With Flock now pulling out his, Oscar Hernandez quickly tries to run away, turning his back towards K Flock and trying to sprint towards a convenience store. However, K Flock was not having it and he would use his firearm in a self defense motion as it would connect towards Oscar Hernandez's back while he was sprinting into the convenience store. Hernandez would later sadly passed from his injuries at a local NYC hospital. All that was left at the scene of the crime was shell casings as well as Oscar Hernandez's slides that he was wearing on this day. Kevin Perez, professionally known as K-Flock, immediately became the main suspect in the investigation as he turned himself into the NYPD on December 23rd and is facing criminal charges of the first degree. Hernandez's parents then spoke out about the passing the next day, where they believe this was a case of mistake an identity, as they explained Oscar to be a delivery man for Uber Eats, as well as a very hard worker, with absolutely zero street ties. Now, K Flock and his lawyer walked into the NYPD 30th precinct together when he turned himself 
Finn, which in his lawyer would then release this statement. Yesterday, I accompanied Kevin as he self-surrendered to detectives in the 30th precinct. Arrangements were made immediately with the NYPD once I learned that he was wanted. As to the charges against him, we have begun our own investigation into these allegations. More importantly, considering the DA's significant disclosure this morning that the NYPD received a tip saying someone else was the hitter, we demanded the DA's office provide disclosure of the videos referenced in the complaint and more information on the tip. We will address bail once we have had a chance to review the case further into the DA's noteworthy disclosure. Now, K Flock's lawyer was given all of the evidence that the feds had, and he truly believes that Flock was acting in self defense. When the guy hits the ground and is found, he's got a loaded that was in his pocket that his hand was on at the time. You know, we consider that to be self defense. So he did take he him in self defense. That's what the allegation is. You know, I don't want to talk too much about the details of the case, okay. but the government claims that he pulled the But at the same time, the person that was ground had his hand on a loaded, illegal loaded, apparently about Kevin. Okay. So without saying too much, you're arguing obviously self-defense. That's the crux you know, of that, the that, that could be one of the arguments, self-defense. And I, I would say to the public, you know, somebody's walking up to you with a loaded pretty clear is going to use it mm -hmm. with a criminal record a mile long do you want to get or do you not want to oh absolutely i wouldn't hesitate to pull it then after the lawyer statement was released the nypd would then release their statement online as the nypd believed this incident was street related based on k flock's documented affiliation with the bronx based third side street team it was documented that flock was heavily involved in street related acts within this time in new york being a huge name figure, he had lots of control on situations and it was a main target to his ops for retaliation. Due to those reasons, Flock and his lawyers are convinced and are making the claim that this was a self-defense act by K. Flock. As K. Flock's lawyer is very positive that they would beat this case and that the rapper would be released very soon. This was, however, until a new report was released of an I quote, Bronx drill rapper K. Flock was just indicted by a federal grand jury for a bunch of new racketeering conspiracy charges, also known as Rico. This had many hip hop creators reacting, stating, K. Flock just caught a Rico, it's really over. To even DJ Academic stating, Feds just unsealed an indictment on K. Flock for a Rico charge. The mandatory minimum if he doesn't beat those charges or snitch is life in prison. He is still facing state charges that have him locked up. Pray for him. The news of K. Flock now facing Rico charges would quickly hit news headlines. His lawyer was then quick to release another statement regarding Flock and his future, which reads, and I quote, We are not surprised by the federal charges as we have been defending Kevin State charges for over a year now. Considering the incident incident was a clear act of self-defense, it wasn't a particularly strong charge. That it's now being used as a basis for a possible penalty charge is extraordinary. On video, it is crystal clear that Kevin was about to be affected after attempting to walk away from the other person. Only then did Kevin use an item to defend himself from another armed team member who was about to pull his firearm from out of his pocket. The feds are now trying all tactics to get evidence on K Flock, with even going to his co-defendant for asking for more info. As Academics tweeted, K Flock's co-defendant Sticky says they came to him asking him to snitch on K Flock, and he told them, no, I'll see you in 30 years. Sharing this Instagram photo of Sticky and K Flock on the street in New York City. On his Instagram post, his caption states, we did stuff at RL together, guess we gotta defend our freedom against these people together. It's all fun and games until these people come. They said, tell us about Kevin. Help yourself. 30 years is a long time. Well, I guess I'll see you in 30 years. Now, this is good and bad news for K Flock. And let me explain. The great news is that his co-defendant will stay loyal to K until the end. No snitching in this case, unlike the YSL Rico case. The bad news is, also like the Rico case in YSL, there is going to be more than just him and Sticky. Allegedly, in K 
Flux Rico, there's going to be around 7 to 10 people being charged with Rico. Now, if they're already asking Sticky to snitch, they're going to be asking everybody else as well, offering them great deals as well as being released early. Now, just like the YSL Rico case as well, they had 28 total charged with Rico. But at this current moment, there is around 10 to 12 snitches. Also similar to the YSL case is that the feds are only asking for information on K Flock, no one else, very similar to the YSL, where they only want information on Young Thug, the kingpin. He's the only man the feds want, as they want to use him as an example to scare everyone else. And with all of this going on, we finally heard from K Flock himself, as K Flock was on FaceTime with some of his friends in the real world as K Flock, the rapper, may have just revealed that he lost his life. He was on FaceTime, and it's still currently unknown how this was even possible, but K Flock has the commissary money that gets him anything he wants. So with these photos of K Flock on FaceTime, many fans noticed that he looks worried, almost as if he was crying inside a jail, not looking like the regular confident K Flock that we're all used to seeing. Now these photos were shared with him on FaceTime with his friends back home in New York. Sadly, the call only lasted 20 seconds, but these photos give us a clear picture on how K Flock is looking these days.